Hi, it's Maya here with the second part of my tune reads and receipts. So the tune reads and receipts video was getting very long, so I decided in editing to split it into two parts. If you want to know about my tune reads, what books I read in tune, go watch the first part. And if you want to know about the books that I hold and how I did in my challenges, watch this part. But now we go to a previously filmed receipts, Maya. So let's move on to the receipts. Did I make progress in my A to Z TBR challenge? I got L from Lady Susan and W from Word Puppets. Did I read my TBR char challenge? Read a book that was featured in a try a chapter video? No, I'm currently reading it though. So before moving to the can I buy parts, in this month I really have to add a whole ass whole part because I have been buying some books. First, two physical books arrived. These are the two that I ordered last month. I got The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison for, from Better World Books. If you remember, I had ordered this a used copy. It wasn't supposed to be a library copy and it wasn't listed as such and I've been really like scouting and trying to see if there would be a used copy of this, which wasn't a library copy to get for cheaper, because I really want this hardcover and the unused new hardcovers of this earlier printing are like 80 euros or something. So, and I don't really know how to feel about this because this arrived and was a library copy. And I contacted them and they actually reimbursed my money. So I got my money back. I got to keep the book. I really don't know how to feel about this because the dust jacket is actually in great condition. It was covered in plastic. It's like new. It only had two library stickers and I got one out, but this second one I haven't been able to get out yet, but I really want to. But then the book itself is quite dirty and it was really annoying that the plastic wrapping covered the dust jacket so well, but then the plastic wrapping had been like taped to the book with this really sturdy tape with really sturdy glue on it. I got it out from the front of the book, but it left these huge marks. So I have a great dust jacket for the Goblin Emperor hardcover if I ever find a great version of it. I do have the paperback and I have read this, so this doesn't add to my TBR count. And then the second book that I got from Better World Books, which was a library copy, but I knew it was one. I didn't mind, it was marked as such. So this is Theodora Gossi's In the Forest of Forgetting, and this is her short story collection. 16 short stories, a couple of them are nominated for, were nominated for different awards, like a World Fantasy Award or a Nebula Award. But it does bring my TBR back to 70 books, right when I got it under 70. So as you may know from my library vlog, I let myself borrow library books as much as I wanted in June, but I also didn't do well with my ebook buying rule. Like I did perfectly with the buying physical books, but then I got like 17 or 20 things out from the library. And then I bought some ebooks from sale. So there was a Kindle bestseller daily deal sale, which meant like the top however many Kindle bestsellers were on sale and it included a ton of new science fiction and fantasy releases. So I picked up four and I had to limit myself to just four. I picked up A Memory Called Empire by Arkady Martin, which is a science fiction novel. The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty, which is the second book in this series that I don't know the series name, but it starts with City of Brass. I do own it. I still haven't read it, but now I have the second book. It's a fantasy series set in Egypt. And then I bought Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. This is a young adult fantasy book. And finally, The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling, which is a science fiction horror book. So those were all that I bought from that sale. But then at the end of the month, I noticed that Witchmark by C.L. Polk, sort of a historical fantasy novel, was on sale as a daily deal. So I picked it up. And I also noticed that Claymore by Nori Hiroyagi was finally added to Comixology. My library didn't have it, Comixology EU didn't have it, and I had been recommended this horror fantasy manga series a couple of times. I just had to pick up the first volume. I also have read all of my other digital comics from Comixology now. Then I picked up those 17 books and comics from the library. I'm not gonna go through all of those, you can go watch my library vlog. So now we're finally moving to Can I Buy? And I'm not counting anything that I have bought before, so... Let's see if I can buy something more. Can I buy a physical book? Yes, I can. I read Lady Susan, I read Word Puppets. So since I am feeling a bit disappointed that I am back to 70 books and I didn't feel happy when I got Theodore Gossi's book in the mail because I was sad that I got back to 70 books, I think I will actually pre-order a book. So I was planning to pre-order either The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher, Ursula Vernon. I love all of her books. Or... Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, which has gotten a lot of great buzz on booktube and it has a great cover. It looks like my kind of thing. It has necromancy. It looks like a lot of fun. And then Tour Books posted some of the first edition would be all black. 
it would have black sprayed edges. It would be a black book and I want it. It looks great. It's so me. Not everyone I think who pre-orders it will get it. It's like while supplies last, but I still want to try. I want to try to get that uber goth book. So let's go pre-order Gideon the Ninth, shall we? So this is what it looks like. It has like a skeletons flying everywhere. And it comes out on hardback 10th of September. And I am on Book Depository because free shipping. And I'm clicking pre-order. Okay, thank you for your order. So next, can I buy an ebook? Why, yes, I can. Did I buy a ton of ebooks already? Yes, I did. But I did read the Wendigo in June. So I get to buy one cheap ebook. Now the Wendigo was a novella, so I think I can buy a novella. So let's see what novellas I have on my wish list. So these are the ones that I think are novellas. There's Nightshades by Melissa F. Olsen. I think this is a Tor.com novella that is about vampires. There's Thornbound Volume 2 of the Harwood Spellbook by Stephanie Burgess, which is like a romantic Regency fantasy. But I haven't read the first one yet, so not that one. Then there's Trading Rosemary by Octavia Cade, and I have really enjoyed Octavia Cade in the past, so that's one possibility. And then finally I have St The Steers Woman by Rosemary Kirstein, which I think is classic fantasy. And I'm not sure if it's a novella, but I think it's quite short. It says that it's 288 pages, so maybe not that one. So I think I'm gonna go with Octavia Cade's Trading Rosemary. It's 82 pages long, it was published in 2014. It says, in a world where experience is currency, Rosemary is the owner of a very special library, a library of memory where scented coins transfer personal experience from one individual to another. I think Elizabeth from Books and Pieces really likes this. I'm gonna buy now with one click. So it's downloading onto my Kindle now. Plop. So finally, can I borrow a book? Yes, I read two of my own physical books and one ebook, so I get to borrow a library book. I actually didn't get to choose this one really, because I had October Man by Ben Aronovich on hold, and I hadn't frozen that hold. Uh, the library had ordered some copies, and now the copies came in. I got the book, it's waiting for me at the library. It's a novella set in the Peter, Peter Grant universe, but it's not focused on Peter Grant, so it's actually set in Germany. So these are like contemporary fancy police procedurals. I just need to go and pick it up from the library. Now this is the part where I would usually show you what library books I have left for July, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna say these lots. So finally, let's go through the stats. I read 17 books in June. That was 3717 pages. On average, I read 124 pages a day and I don't have the average for how many days it took me to read a book because I just realized it didn't count it the way I wanted to in the actual sheet so all of the past ones have been wrong and I've been lazy and I haven't redone the calculator check the calculations yet so but to finish this whole thing my current physical TBR number is 70 books. I am doing one change to reads and receipts for the latter half of the year. I will go through uh, this in more detail in my mid-year goals check-in video, but it's basically that I will have to, in the future, read three physical books of my TBR to get one. So far it's been two, and I'm really tired that I can't seem to get the number to go down at the rate that I would want to. So there we go. So that was a long video, but it's all from me for now. I will see you in my next one.